In October of 1880, the William P. Cox schooner was lost at sea, which took the lives of six Hatteras men, all related. Elizabeth Browning Fox tells the story to Sandy Jones Garrison on February 12, 2014. Zora Babel, he was in, in the late 1870s, he was already captain of Durant's station, life-saving station. His, his other brother, Edmund Dixon Burris, was known as Captain Dick. Dick Burris was the captain of a local ship, uh, a freight schooner called the William P. Cox. And then Ethelbert Dozier, my great-granddaddy Dozier, was the youngest of the three, of the three boys in the family. And he was, he was uh, in 1876, he also became a, a, an assistant keeper at Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, just like his, his father-in-law was. Mm -hmm. um, he was a fisherman, and then in the late 1870s, after he finished being a lighthouse keeper, he was also a member of the crew of his, of his brothers, the William P. Cox schooner. The crew of the schooner, there were six men all from Hatteras. They were all related to each other. And um, the, the Cox went out in October 1880. I think it was bringing freight from Maryland down to Wilmington, but I can't, I can't remember that for sure. They, they saw it outside the inlet. It, a storm blew up. It couldn't make it in. You know how much trouble people have now with the inlet getting in and out. The mm -hmm. fishing boats sometimes, the Coast Guard boats also. Well, they, it wasn't a dredged inlet at that time. It was a natural inlet. And they couldn't get the ship in. And so they went back offshore and the, the ship was never seen again. Mm -hmm. And all six men who were on the crew died. Their bones, their bodies never found. But that day, fortunately, my great granddaddy, who was part of the crew, he was the youngest, so he was probably the cook. For some reason, he wasn't on the ship that day. And if he had been, then I wouldn't have been here. And there are probably thousands of people who wouldn't by now, who or hundreds anyway, who wouldn't be here. I can name probably at least 10 or 12 folks on Hatteras that I know who wouldn't be here.